I mean, what, are you just gonna stare at me and not say anything? Just kidding. Well, well, well. Fancy seeing you here, huh? I'm once again doing my shoulder warm-ups so that my shoulder does not pop out of its socket. I have been close to just ejecting my shoulder like a missile out of the socket. Also, if I'm keeping it a stack 55, as I so often do, I bent over yesterday. I was bending over yesterday to pick something up, all right, and I dang near threw out my back. So my back is completely compromised today. I would not be surprised if I'm bending down to pick up a disc, and I just, I just never come back up. So once again, find ourselves at a little nine-hole corsage here. I played her once before on the channel, and this course got me freaking crawling on all fours and barking, baby. So I am trying to get back to that state. I'm trying to get back to the bark state. If you can achieve the bark state, that's like the avatar state for stinking disc golf. If you're crawling on all fours, barking, you have achieved avatar state, disc golf version. The goal for today is extremely simple. We are seeking perfection. We're going for all birds, all right? All I wanna see is blue across that scorecard. I just want the birds. I'm talking seagulls, crows, bald eagles. I want to be flying home, not driving home, if you know what I'm saying. Let's get after it, all right? What do you say? What do you say, kid? Come on. Okay, well, the left side of my body is completely soaking wet and extremely itchy. It's the price you pay to not have shoulder pain, all right? You're gonna be itchy, you're gonna be wet. We have arrived at hole one here. This is gonna set the tone for the rest of our pissing round, and we need it to be a good tone. We need it to be a good little octave, a little oh. I want those angels singing. Hole one here, basket is all the way tucked around the tree. You're pretty much just taking a little of that putter action, a little of that putter butter. If I throw a hole in one here, I'm telling you, I will take the shirt off and I'll play the rest of the round with no shirt, all right? I know everybody wants to see it. <sighs> curve back, curve back. We are 30 long, this is a tester. All right, well, we have found ourselves in a predicament here on hole one. We've got an absolute tester. We want the birds, we called it out. We want the perfect round, so we've got to make this, all right? And it all comes crashing down. Who would have thought? Hole one, it all comes crashing down. The good news is my back is feeling slightly bulletproof. The bad news is after that first hole, we have now choked our initial goal of playing the perfect round, which hurts. That's a Mike Tyson uppercut that you're usually never getting back up from, but you know what? Hey, Mike Tyson has never seen the big doggy dog. The big doggy dog always fights back. He always barks back, okay? Scrap that first hole. Flush it down the toilet, as I always say. Let's get Will Smith crawling out of those bushes, hitting the men in black memory wipe. Still a lot of chains out there yet to be tickled. We're bouncing back like a volleyball after you get that dig. You know what I'm saying? Because we are here at hole two. Pretty much a straight pump down there. Oh boy, you know what I'm slowly finding out about myself through this whole disc golf journey? I am really good at making really easy things really stinking hard. <laughs> and these freaking weeds are tickling and shanking my leg. I love it, I love it. Shout out McDonald's. Where's the sponsorship? Where's the brand deal? <laughs> all right, I blame the weeds, all right? Chief Keef was tickling my leg there. Darth Vader has freaking got me. Right by the freaking throat, dude. Save the turtles, am I right? Goodness, but we are here at hole three. Pretty much the shortest hole in the course. It's straight up the gut, about 130 feet here. It's the most aceable hole in the course, okay? I'm just gonna keep it a stack 50. This is one that we wanna get. <laughs> Say it with me, folks. That is El Parco Charcoat, baby. Let's turn it around. Oh yeah, this is what we're looking for. Come on. Grab them, rattle them. I feel freaking something in my loins. All right, well, we're on the board. We're slightly flapping. Hole four here, pretty much a straight shot down the hill. I usually go a nice little forehand there. That's what my brain's telling me to do. But for whatever reason, my body is telling me to throw a backhand here. So I, this could go terribly wrong, but my body already has the disc to throw a backhand in it. Swing back for me. Swing back. There's no freaking way we hit the only tree. In disc golf, as I've said before, we don't like the knockers. We don't like hitting them trees. Hey. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know. 
You know what I was just thinking too? I'm like a little hatchling, you know? The first time that mama bird freaking gives you the boot out of the nest. I don't know what the frick's going on. I'm just free falling. But the next time, you know, I figure out, let's flap them wings a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But we're settling in back to back birds. If we get three in a row, that's a turkey. Gobble, gobble. Basket is straight shot up the hill there. We're taking our pitching wedge actually. What do you say, hey brother? Come on, tea and crumpets. <sighs> Oh, brother, what the piss? What was in them tea and crumpets, dude? Hey, well, somebody laced the tea and crumpets with a little of that jazz cabbage, I think. We shanked that drive pretty much as bad as I've ever shanked on this hole. But hey, we find ourselves in a similar position as the last time we were here. I knocked down a freaking putt that got me barking and crawling on all fours. That's all I'm gonna say. Can lightning strike twice? That is the question, folks. I've been told that my Adam's apple is huge. Is that true? I guess I just got a freaking bigger bite than most. I don't, I don't know what's going on there, man. All right, stop looking at it. I'm self-conscious, please stop looking at it. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go like this now. Okay, well, unfortunately, the big doggy dog is still in the dog pound. After that last hole, I really thought lightning could strike twice. But that's okay, because we find ourselves on hole six, my least favorite hole on the course. Pin is all the way down straight shot, but there's two big old trees in the way. I just don't got the power to swing it over the topsy do. So I'm just gonna take pitching wedge here, and we're gonna try and lace it right down that middle gap, all right? Come on, hey, let's do it. <sighs> get up, get up and get out of it, get up and get out of it. Uh-oh, the fingers are going, looky, looky. I found a cookie, as Subway says. I literally have that bag that says it in my car if you don't believe me. <laughs> oh, the big dog needs a couple more birds. We're gonna start barking, okay? Well, welcome to hole seven, one of the hardest holes to film. Basket, I don't know if you can see it. It's a dog leg right down the hill behind that tree over there. So I'm taking the three wood here. This is the only hole on this course that I have ever drawn metal. Almost got an ace last time I was here. See if we can conjure up some of that magic. Some of that dark magic. Hey, hey Voldy, Voldemort. Oh, oh no. Well, it sure as heck didn't go in. I'll say that much. You know what? The silver lining of today's is an absolute gorgeous and beautiful day, and that's what really matters. Jip that! Jip the day. We want the birds. We want to be flying. We want to be stinking barking, all right? I could care less. Rain, shine, I'm out here, all right? So let's knock this down. Come on. It is getting criminal at this point. I'm just tired of getting robbed at gunpoint every time I come out here, man. Every time I come out here, I'm hitting them chains and that disc is not going in that basket. It is criminal. <sighs> Swing back. Swing it back. Freaking dang near threw out my back again on that one. Oh boy. I really feel like Scotty Pippen in the 98 finals. Scotty was out there, back tweaked could barely walk, could barely run, and he was still out there grinding, grinding himself into a fine powder, as Mr. David Goggins would say. All you have to ask yourself is who's gonna carry the boat? Who's gonna carry them logs, okay? We've gotta look for bird. Redemption hole, redemption hole. Let's redeem ourselves. Let's right the wrongs right here, come on. Let's lock in, baby, come on. Roo, 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 roo. It felt freaking good to bark right there, let me tell you. I mean, it feels like I've been practicing bark retention, if you know what I'm saying. That putt got the big dog barking. He's out of the dog pound, he's on the loose. Who's gonna catch him? Who's gonna catch him, you know what I'm saying? Nobody. All right, hole nine, the last hole here. Pretty much a straight shot down the hill here, pin straight down there. We're taking the three wood yet again, I'm trusting it right now. We're hucking a little bit of that forehand action and seeing what happens. <sighs> Oh. As quickly as I was barking, a muzzle has been put on the big doggy dog after that drive. That was not great. I once again have a bush in my face. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I'm just saying I have been in the bushes before. The bushes, I've had bushes in my face. Never mind, I, I give up, I don't know. Shout out Helen Keller, come on. We're gonna need Helen right here. Helen, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, I need you because I can't see a dang thing. Oh boy. 
I think Helen Keller may have been able to throw a better shot than that. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, ho! Oh, well, you thought the video was over, didn't you, you little scallywag? <laughs> Joke's on you. A little bonus content for you. I'm feeling like Robin Hood. That's all I got to say. I'm feeling generous. We are back here at hole number one. Whenever I come here, I can't help my greasy little hands. It is the most aceable hole I've ever been to. I feel like the girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I want an ace, and I want it now, daddy. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah, we're like that. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh no. Swing back, drop, do it. Oh. <laughs> All right, well last three, because I'm a little disc golf addict and I can't help it. I need, I need three more, okay, come on. Do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that could be it. That could be it. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Strike three. You're out of there.